Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be filming a Kim Kardashian inspired hair tutorial. Um, I love Kim, I love all the Kardashians, um, and I always think that Kim's hair and makeup is always perfectly on point and just amazing. So that's why I decided to do a kind of celebrity inspired hair tutorial. And this is kind of the look I came up with. Um, obviously, it is just inspired by Kim. I have blonde hair, Kim has dark brown hair, you know, we don't have the exact same haircut or anything like that. So it's just inspired by her and the way she typically wears her hair. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like the tutorial and if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay, so I already clipped my extensions in. If you want to see how I do that, I have a full tutorial and I will link it in the bottom bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is spray in some dry shampoo into my roots. Um, the one I'm using is from Dove. You can use any dry shampoo and it is just going to help give you more volume because Kim always has tons of volume in her hair. So I'm just kind of working it into my scalp. And now I'm just going to fix my part. I'm going to do a side part. Kim sometimes wears side parts, sometimes middle parts, but for this look I wanted to do a side part. Then I'm going to just spray a heat protectant. The one I'm using is from Sally Hirschberger, her hyperhydration spray. Um, any heat protectant, again, will work. Just make sure to spray heat protectant on your hair before you use any heat. And then I'm just going to spray a light coating of some hairspray on my hair as well before I curl it, just so it can hold the curl a little bit better when I'm doing my hair. Then I'm just going to brush through my hair to get out any knots. Then I'm going to use the Not Your Mother's She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray and a teasing comb to tease my hair. And I am going to tease my hair before I curl my hair in this video just because Kim usually has so, so much volume and I don't want the curls to fall out when I tease it after. So I am teasing it before I even curl my hair. And as you can see, I'm just sectioning my hair off, spraying the hairspray, and then using the teasing comb to push my hair back towards my scalp and yes I know I do look a little bit crazy but I promise it'll look better once I fix it. Then I'm just going to tease the other side of my hair as well. Normally I wouldn't tease my hair quite this much, but since Kim normally has so much volume, I just kind of needed it for this look. So now I'm just going to spray it one more time to keep it hold, and then I'm going to use like a teasing brush just kind of to smooth out my hair and shape the tease and make myself not look so crazy. That brush really is so great because it is not combing out the tease, but it helps to just shape my hair. Then I'm just going to kind of section off my hair and take the top layer of my hair and just kind of tie it back with a hair tie just to get it out of the way because normally Kim has kind of more tighter curls on the bottom and more looser curls on the top. So then I'm just going to take small sections of my hair and curl them and the curling iron that I am using is the Hot Tools one and a half inch barrel. I love this and it is bigger than the normal barrel that I use. I normally just use the one inch, but the one and a half inch is great for really loose curls, which is what Kim is known for. And as you can tell, I don't like to leave the curling iron on my hair for too long. I really only let it sit for a couple seconds before I take it off. That'll really help to not fry your hair as much. You should never let it sit for more than like 10 or so seconds. Now I'm going to bring down that top layer and just comb it through. And then I'm going to go ahead and curl the top layer.
Then I'm just going to spray that half of my head since it is done and then I'm just going to kind of scrunch it to help hold the curl a little bit better. And the hairspray I'm using is from Tresemme. Um, it's just a maximum hold hairspray and I like that one because it really does hold my hair but it doesn't make it feel like it's like sticky or like not touchable or soft. It still feels soft but it really holds the um, style. Then I'm just going to spray the other side and scrunch it like I did before. And then just spray my whole head one more time just so it will last all day. Yeah, so that is the completed look and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.